Hello, my name is Anna Pollard and I am an instructor at My Fun Science and I teach mixed media art and advanced art. Um, and you can find our classes at myfunscience.com. So today I'd like to talk to you about building color with colored pencils. So an understanding of color theory is a foundational skill for working in all different types of art media. And if you haven't mastered the basics of color mixing, um, colored pencil drawing can be kind of intimidating at first. So the simplest monochromatic layering involves just one colored pencil and a contrasting colored pencil. By varying the pressure of your pencil, you can create a range of values. So monochromatic means, mono means one, and chroma means color. The second way to work with monochromatic values is to use closely related colored pencils to create the appearance of one hue. So to lighten the color, add white. For example, to create lavender, add white to violet. To brighten a hue, use the color in its maximum intensity. For example, when you want to lighten the value of an orange pumpkin, you would use a white pencil. But to brighten the intensity of an orange pumpkin, you would apply more yellow because yellow and red make orange and yellow is the brighter of those two colors. So yellow is used to brighten orange. So remember that value is the lightness or darkness of a color and hue is primary and secondary colors. These colors are considered hues and include yellow, orange, red, violet, blue, and green. And intensity is the brightness or dullness of a color. So what you're looking at here is a color wheel and you can find these online. You can make your own like I did here. I made a little, um, I made one here with your primary colors. Um, so if you want to darken or dull the color orange, use the complementary color blue. So the color that is directly across from each other are the complementary colors. Orange is complementary of blue. Red is complementary of green. Violet is complementary of yellow. Okay. It, um, so if you want to darken or dull the color orange, use the complementary color blue and the cut, which is like I said, the color located across from the orange on the color wheel. It's important to know that if the orange you want to modify is dark in value, you should select a dark version of blue. As the hue gets lighter, you could choose a much lighter complement. So primary and secondary colors, these colors are considered hues and include yellow, orange, red, violet, blue, and green. Tertiary colors, these are mixed colors that are also considered hues, even though neither color is dominant. Pure colors, hues are vivid or pure colors that appear on the color wheel or in a rainbow. Black, gray, or white is not considered a hue. Hues do not contain black, gray, or white because they are neutral colors and they have no color in them. There's no hue in them, okay? A hue is a color. Black, gray, and white is not a color. Other terms include color value. We talked about that, how light or dark a color is. And saturation is the intensity of a color with highly saturated colors being bright and desaturated colors having less pigment. So I challenge you on your next art project to try these techniques with your um, media and see how they work with your subject that you're drawing or coloring, okay? So um, next class or next video, keep an eye out for it. I am going to teach you how to draw a puffin bird step-by-step. So I teach the spring, starting in January, January, a mixed media class on Wednesdays, beginning at one o'clock. They are 90 minute classes. They are recorded. So you can go back and review if you'd like. 
and the mixed media class are for students who are a little uneasy on how to, they want to learn how to draw better. So I explain step by step how to draw each project. And we experiment with different media like watercolors and chalk pastels, oil pastels, colored pencils, um, and so on. The advanced art class, which is on Thursday at one o'clock, beginning in January for 90 minutes, are for students that are comfortable with their drawing ability and they want to learn how to use advanced techniques with media, how to um, apply shadows and, and highlights and um, draw with per using perspective and so on. So keep an eye open for the next video and we'll be drawing a puffin bird and anyone is invited to watch the video and try these out. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.